Sharos uh, from Sri Lanka. Sheikh, uh, there is a hadith that uh, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, whoever makes a recommendation for his brother and accepts a gift offered by him has entered in one of the largest cases of riba. Is this uh, involved brokery as well? Okay. I will answer you, Shah. Sharush from uh, Sri Lanka is asking about a famous hadith. The Prophet said, alayhi salatu salam, whoever intercedes for his brother and accepts from his brother a gift, then he has accepted a chapter or a division of riba. Now, let us understand. Intercession is not a job. It's not an occupation. It's a favor. So one friend of mine comes and says, Sheikh Asim, you know the CEO of this company, and I'm desperately in need of a job. So can you give, uh, put a, a word for us? So I said, no problem. I called the CEO. He said, yeah, sure. Send me his CV. Send me his qualifications. And a couple of days, and the guy is hired, mashallah. So the guy comes in with a Mont Blanc pen, and he says, Zakallah khair, ya sheikh. Here you go. If I accept this gift, the Prophet says that this would be accepting a type or a division of riba. Why? It's a gift. It's a gift given on an intercession that did not require any work from you, that you did not ask for a price before doing it. And hence, this is not permissible. Commission is different. If I know that you have a land, a property, a plot, a house to sell, and I work to sell it to someone, and the norm is that if I manage to bring you someone to purchase it, and he does, then I get 2.5% of the value of this um, transaction. And usually it's the buyer who gives it, gives it to us. This is totally permissible. If someone tells me, Akhi, I have these perfumes I'd like to sell, and I say, okay, but I'll take 5%, 10%, 20% commission. No problem in that. And this is different from the hadith, and Allah Azza wa knows best.